What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We just picked up the new S-Class, AKA the new daily driver. And it took me so long to get the spec I wanted. So come check it out. I'm gonna show you guys around and see what you think. So this particular spec is a 2022 S580 in a Designo Manufacturer Cashmere White Magno. I hope I'm saying that right. It's basically Mercedes's matte or satin paint job from the factory, which is really nice. However, it is pretty intimidating as far as, not sure if I can put a clear bra on it, which I usually do in all my cars, and given how unique the paint is and whatnot. So I do have to look into that. Uh, but the paint itself is something that really stands out, especially in the sunlight. So that's what I wanted. I, I wanted a white one in general, but this was a major plus um, finding the, the Designo paint job. I think that's really nice. It does have the uh, black appearance package, so you notice some of the black uh, blacked out features there. The 21 inch wheels with the black inlays, uh, you know, blacked out side view mirrors. I did notice it didn't have blacked out uh, window trimming, but it kind of works. It's kind of just all flows really well. But let me show you the inside, which is pretty much the only reason I bought this car and also a pretty cool way of kind of getting into the new S-Class. When you hit unlock, it kind of has the Tesla style pull out door handles, pretty common these days, has a really nice light show. But yeah, let me show you the interior. So this is pretty much what sold me on the car and this is what probably took the longest to find. It has the upgraded exclusive Sienna Brown interior. So if you don't know, there's different trims of interiors in terms of leather and details and this pretty much has the highest highest trim level. So you'll have the very soft Napa leather and it's in that nice color that I wanted. The ambient lighting, which is absolutely insane on the S-Class. It's obviously the best there is in the business. Um, it has the black piano wheel. It has the flowing lines. Um, very, very nice. Let me jump in. View of the cockpit. Very, very nice. And this is a big, big reason what uh, sold me on the car and what I wanted. I will say the only option this car did not have, which not that big of a deal is the upgraded stereo which things like five grand and truthfully driving this a little bit so far uh, this the stereo is just fine i mean it, it's no complaints there um, but yeah this is the interior uh let me go ahead and jump in the back jumping in the back where you'll see my toddler's car seat and a little more of the view again the interior is absolutely what sold me on the car. So the attention to details um, is, is very impressive. And I will say again, it's the upgraded interior. So you have the wood on the back of the seats, you have the lights, um, you have more leather pretty much everywhere. There's Napa leather covered everywhere. The details on the pads. Mercedes knocked it out the park uh, in this particular one. Uh, outside of the Maybach, I think this is as good as it will get in terms of a S580. You got some more lighting in the back there. So this is what was the biggest, biggest selling point, and uh, I'm so happy I was able to find it. Jumping back into the cockpit, um, again, the attention to detail on the upgraded uh, interior, which I think was about a $3,200 option. I mean, you get leather everywhere, leather on the dash, leather on, soft leather on the doors, um, the, and the, the quality of the leather is very different on the, they had given me a loaner car while they were finishing some services and that particular S class had the kind of standard leather and it was a noticeable difference. I mean, once you know, you kind of like, once you see this and feel it, um, there's a huge noticeable difference, by the way, random, this polka dot thing, it's not carbon fiber or anything. It's like a $350 option without that. It would just be black piano. Truthfully. I wouldn't have mind either one, but super interesting. Some of these options are nuts. Um, you got your wireless charger, you got your connections for your phones, pretty standard affair. But uh, let me guys show you, let me start her up and show you kind of some of the animations because I think that's really cool in the car. Hello. 
about the details on this car. Just when you start her up, just check out the... Little effects you see, things like that. I thought it was really cool. Um, obviously, I don't know if you guys can see, but you got a heads up display. It might be a little hard to see, but we got the heads up display here. We have the 3D gauge cluster. We have the OLED display here and the ambient lighting, which is obviously the star of the show in the new S class. I mean, it's, it's not like anything you've ever seen before driving this thing, even in the day, but especially at night, it just really is a, is a fun experience, especially for my little one. He loves it, but this is pretty much just a quick video guys I wanted to show you on our new pickup and let me know if there's any other uh, things you'd like to see on it as we kind of go through this ownership experience um, thank you guys for watching as always and stay tuned for more peace